Okay, so here I am to show you how to get into our Citrix server in a lightning fast way. The first thing I'm doing here is I am waiting for my browser to open up and it will open up. There it is. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type lab.devry lab.devry.edu this is for people that have had trouble getting the software downloaded onto their own machine. Maybe you've got a Macintosh computer and it doesn't seem to run that well, or you can't open a file or something. You need to get your assignment done. You can use this Citrix server. So the purpose of this is just to show you how to get into it and find the applications that you need. Subsequent uh, uh, explanations will show how to get your files out of it, etc. So this is a cloud-based solution, and I'm just going to put my username, whoops, my username in here and uh, and then my password and this is the same password that you would have used to uh, get into canvas and all of the other DeVry applications you have to use and I'm going to click on log on and the Citrix servers will come up now it wants to determine whether or not you have a special file on your computer. So I'm going to click on that. And it'll say, uh, it's okay, I would just agree with this. Click on download. It looks to me like it's found that it doesn't exist and that it's not installed. So I'm going to click on download. And see this little file right here? You, for the first time you use Citrix, you need to install it and save it. So I'm going to click on save. And now it's downloading it to my computer. I'm using Windows 8, by the way, but it should work similarly on any operating Windows operating system. And I believe you can use it on a Mac too. That's why I'm showing this to you because it's in the cloud. So now it's completed. I'm going to show all the downloads. You need to find where it downloaded it. In my case, it went to my downloads folder. So now I'm going to double click on that. And it will, whoops, I think I did it twice. Here, it appeared in my right, this shield, and I clicked on it, and then I go, do you want it to make allow it to make changes? Yes. So now be patient. I found that just technology works better when you're patient. Up comes the installation screen. So I'm going to click on Start. I'm going to accept the license agreement, and I'm going to install. And now we just have to wait for this to do its thing while it initializes and then downloads. And again, you only have to do this, I believe, the first time that you access the remote lab. So um, we'll just sit here and wait patiently while it does whatever it needs to do. Okay, it's worth the drive when the computer is alive. So it was worth the wait when we know that the computer is going to actually do what it's supposed to do. So now it's installing the receiver. And you may have to be a bit patient here, but patience is a virtue. Maybe I'll just use this time to talk a little bit about how what we mean by this lab.devry.edu what you're doing here is you're installing a file that will allow you to be able to access all of the applications that you need in your courses from a remote server. So this means that even if you're in a library somewhere, you should be able, as long as they let you install this little receiver file, you should be able to access Word, Excel, Microsoft Access, Visio, programs that you'll need in all of our courses at DeVry are loaded on this server that's probably located in Chicago somewhere so that you are actually using Excel on one of DeVry's computers, not on your own.
you'll eventually save your work to that computer. And then in the video after this, I'll be showing you how you can then download that um, file that you worked on to your local machine so that then you can upload it to the assignments area in Canvas and get credit for it. So this is a worthwhile thing to know how to do you know, if your software is not working, if you can't get the software from the student software store to work on your computer, or if maybe your computer crashes and you don't have, you know, it's a big thing to set up a new computer, you don't have time to reinstall your applications, you can always go and use this remote lab. Okay, so the installation was successful, so I'm going to click on finish. And at this point, uh, I should be able to uh, continue now. It says once once you've installed Citrix Receiver, return here and continue. So we've just installed Citrix Receiver, and uh, we want to choose the launcher. And uh, where is it? Okay, I just chose open link. Okay, now the Citrix receiver comes up. Okay, now at this point you say, well, I don't see everything I need here. Well, that's because they put it here in the apps section right here. Now, Windows Explorer will be useful later to find your files. That's kind of like this puppy down here on my taskbar that allows me to find my files. This is allows you to find the files that you store on this machine that's probably located in Chicago somewhere. But now we want to open up an application that would be useful in this course. And if you scroll down here, you can see all the different ones. The ones that are commonly used, Excess, Excel, uh, Excel, and PowerPoint are listed here. And those here's, they are in the 2013 version and also in the 2016 version. The labs in BIS 245, for example, are in 2013. So check to see which uh, version you need for the course that you're in. And then you can scroll down here and you can see all the different applications that you can use for various um, for various courses and there's actually uh, quite a bit of them and uh, because it's not as easy to to find here I am going to see if we can find Visio there it is I see how I went here and then I went to find in my browser this is in Firefox, but Google Chrome has one as well. And it, it actually took me to Microsoft Visio 13, and there's 16 as well. But uh, I'm going to use 13, and then I open it up. And it'll take a minute or two, but it should open up here. Okay, it's starting Visio 2013. And again, this software is located on a remote computer in the cloud somewhere. So you're doing some cloud computing right here. And after it opens up, it seems the first time you do things, um, it really takes a long time. But it's worth it after you get it up and running. Once 2013 opens up, there you go. Now I'm in Visio. Even though I don't may not have Visio on my local machine, I can use it here. And uh, after it's done doing its thing, I'm going to uh, open up a Visio document and it, again let it do its thing before you start clicking on things. You can see it's still taking a little while. Maybe a lot of people are on this. I'm not sure. So uh, there. Open other drawings. Oh, no, I don't want that. Go back. Uh, detailed network. Cost functional office layout, UML, Active Directory. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut it off right here, although I think this one will work pretty well. But I'm going to cut it off right here. The point of this exercise was to 
get you into Citrix in case you have trouble with the software on your computer. So that is done, and that's the end of this video.